We are in the middle of the National News Literacy Week, and that's an annual event to help people better understand what information is credible and what is not. So important right now because an AP poll found almost half of Americans say it's difficult to know if the information they take in is true. So how can we recognize misinformation and bias? Uh, Heather tried to tackle. You did a great job tackling this. This is such a <laughs> massive topic. It's a massive topic, and you have, you know, we have two minutes for the good questions. So yeah. it, it really, really was just touching the surface. But hopefully you can walk away uh, watching this story or reading this story online with at least a couple of ideas of why, what you could do. Why don't we start with misinformation? Because I believe, right. I don't know if you feel this way, but I think most people want to have good and true information. Yeah, I think right. most people aren't intentionally, some are, there are bad Some actors. are, I mean, and disinformation, disinformation is what that is called. Yes, but, but the misinformation, I think most of us want to know the, the real deal. For sure, absolutely. Um, but there's so many sources of information. You know, misinformation, uh, is something where it's false or misleading. And it's a broad topic. So actually, bias can be included in misinformation by, by using misinformation, but it's a very broad, broad topic. But one of the things that you can do, if you see something that just doesn't look right, maybe it's an image that's being shared online, maybe it's an article, you know, that your cousin's, you know, somebody or other girlfriend posted, um, Look at it with a healthy dose of skepticism first. Don't you don't have to be a cynic about it, but they say look at it with a healthy dose of skepticism. I talked with the, the folks that help teach news literacy because more and more high schools and colleges are trying to teach this because there is so much information out there. They say, you know, if you're not sure about something, check it, go online, do a Google search, do something called lateral reading, look for other sources. And then when you go to these other sources, where are they getting their information from? How are they showing you their work? How are they providing you their evidence? How are they getting to the point where mm. they're giving you this information? Heather, the challenge with this is it requires people to not just accept information that lines up with their preconceived notions. Exactly. Right? And, and that's so, the challenge to you as a consumer. Right. And it, so here's you the, have to challenge. Here's that. the thing. You might be saying, look, I'm not going to look up every little piece of information sure. that I am coming across. But you might say, OK, if I'm going to share this information with other people, maybe I'm going to verify that first. Hmm. OK, so that's one way that you could look at it if you don't want to look up every single thing, if you want right. to be skeptical about everything, every single thing. But if you want to share it, uh, verify it. And if you can't verify it or you, you're seeing that it's wrong, don't share it. Or if you do share it, share it in such a way where you say, hey, this one almost got me, or, uh, you know, this yeah. one, uh, this isn't quite true, or if, if you really want something to share. Bias is a little trickier. Yeah, bias is a lot more nuanced, right? So bias is something we're using information to often influence people, and bias is trickier. It's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, we have opinion columnists, uh, we have talk show hosts, right? And, th and they have a bias, and they're very clear and upfront about it, but yeah. bias becomes a problem if it gets into places where you're not supposed to have bias. You know, news, regular, you know, straightforward news reporting, the who, the why, the where, the when. Yeah. And as you know, Jason, there's all kinds of bias. There's bias in how you choose what stories you sure. air. There's bias in the sources that you use for those stories. There's bias in the pictures that people choose for these stories. And it's so not you have just, to be conscious of it. And it's not just political, right? It's, it's no. geographic, it's right. income, it's gender, it's, it's race. Religion. Religion, right. all of these factors. People Absolutely. have biases. The idea is that what we try to do as professionals is be fair mm -hmm. and keep that out of our work as much as we can. Right, and be accurate yep. too. Exactly. And and do and really also yeah. do that fact checking. Be one of those fact checking organizations uh, that you can go to and look for. And it takes yeah. time. You know, we, we really have to earn your trust. Um, Exactly. Because that people are skeptical these days. As they should be. Mm -hmm. As they should be. Yeah.